my dear children how are you i hope you all are fine and safe at your home okay children now we are going to start our mathematics chapter number 1 the fish tail as we all know fish is a water animal it lives in water what is mean by tail yes tail means story tail means story now this tail this tail means the hindmost part of an animal so our chapter name is the fish tail the fish tail means the fish story okay in this chapter we are going to discuss about what is haiku and about whale shark dear children let's start the class here is a three line poem we can see here let's sing it get ready to sing with me okay deep under the sea see the lovely colored fish swimming peacefully deep under the sea see the lovely colored fish swimming peacefully now here are some words first is this sea and this see this to a homophones this see means water body this see means water body like pond lake ocean and many others what about this see this see means looking something clear here is another word peacefully it means relaxed and very happy and very happy now deep under the sea see the lovely colored fish we are looking under the sea but what things we are looking many colored fishes okay what are they doing they are swimming peacefully they are swimming peacefully children this special poem in three lines is called a haiku such poems about nature are popular in japan this special poem in three lines is called a haiku it's not indian word it belongs to japan clear students what is haiku haiku is a japani word and three line poem based on nature okay another three line poem we have the lake calm smooth still a fish jumps up and returns ripples shake the lake there is a condition of lake lake is very silent lake is very silent smooth and very stable but suddenly what happen a fish jumps up and returns ripples shake the lake and that time what happen a fish jumps up and returns it's on place at that time what will happen ripples shake the lake means some waves some waves will be formed in the lake okay children do you know any poem about fish okay children you can collect any poem about fish here are some drawings made by children first drawing you can see of navyada class 1 and second drawing of maya class 4 in navyada's drawing we can see different colors and in maya she has used saffron white green and blue color these are the different drawings of fishes the children are made when you think of fishes what shapes come to your mind if i have to draw a fish using different shapes now i will draw 
first i will draw center with oval shape then heart for tail and triangles for wings and another triangle for mouth and circle for eyes okay here one question is the try to use a square and a triangle to draw a fish you can use a square and triangle to draw a fish okay i will draw one fish like that square not this not this wait this eyes okay this eyes you can draw by using your own idea okay our next page page number 2 look for fish designs around you on cloth in paintings on mats you can collect fish designs around you do you ready okay next mean means a fish all of you know mean means a fish and meenakshi is a girl meenakshi meenakshi is a girl whose eyes look like a fish look like a fish can you think of someone who has such eyes draw a face with fish eyes you can try to draw a face with fish eyes next topic is fish of different size let's see fishes can have very different sizes the smallest fish is about 1 cm long so a question how long is the biggest fish you can imagine answer whale shark is the biggest fish i can imagine it is about 18 m long next question how many times longer is your big fish than the smallest fish answer the smallest fish is about 1 cm long and the longest fish is about 18 m long so students keep units in mind since 1 m is equal to 100 cm so 18 m is equal to 18 multiplied by 100 that is 1800 cm hence the longest fish is 1800 times longer than the smallest fish clear so now let's understand what is whale shark so this is the picture of whale shark which you can see here let's see why it has this name listen the biggest fish is the whale shark it is actually not a whale but is a big big fish whales are different from fish whales breathes like we do through their noses but fish have no noses and they take in water not air whales give birth to babies but fish lay eggs the whale shark fish looks big and dangerous but is quite harmless it does not attack humans you know one whale shark was how much long 18 meter and its weight was about 16000 kg now whale shark questions question number 
about how many kilograms do you weight write your weight here i wrote here approximate weight of the children studying in 5th standard that is 30 kg question number 2 12 children like you put together will weigh about answer weight of one child is equal to 30 kg weight of 12 children is equal to 12 multiplied by 30 that is 360 kg question number 3 about how much more does the whale shark weigh than 12 children like you put together answer weight of whale shark how much 16000 kg weight of 12 children right now we have calculated that is 360 kg difference in weights we will subtract 16000 minus 360 that is 15640 kg so the whale shark will weigh 15640 kg more than 12 children like me put together okay children today we discussed about what is hypo and whale shark i hope you all are understand all things thank you